think one of the uh, reasons that uh, I'm writing this piece is the challenge that HR faces today. And I think one of the, uh, the biggest challenges for HR is uh, understanding how it's different from other functions. And I think one of the things that uh, HR often misses is that it is uniquely uh, capable of optimizing talent compared to other functions. Finance focuses on optimizing capital, market on market share, uh, IT and technology, but human resources has the unique ability to help an organization optimize talent to achieve their business objectives. And I think one of the challenges today that we have is our ability to measure and understand how good a job that we are doing at capturing how well we optimize talent. So there's been a lot of research in the last uh, 20 years, and one of the things we've done at the Metris Institute is try to validate some of that, and we find three factors uh, that if, if organizations manage these well, they will have very high performance. One of them is alignment, the ability to uh, have employees uh, and uh, the structures in the organization all focused on the goals of the organization, both horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. So how do we get units to, to work seamlessly together, uh, synchronously rowing in the same direction? The second area is capabilities. And by that, I don't mean competencies alone, but think about this from the customer's point of view. How do competencies come together with information and resources at the moment of truth for the customer? That's high capabilities. And the third area is engagement. But there's a unique piece about engagement, which is how do we get uh, employees who are not only satisfied and committed, but also advocates for the organization. So when we get all three of these factors, high alignment, high capabilities, high engagement, we find, and the research suggests uh, very strongly, that we can uh, predict high uh, financial performance, uh, high customer satisfaction, high customer uh, loyalty to the organization, as well as things like quality and employee, low employee turnover. So I think these are all elements. The unfortunate news is the research suggests that only about 25% of units and organizations are high alignment capabilities and engagement. So that's where HR's role comes in today. And I think part of that role is what do we do in HR that helps translate the business strategy and drive an organization that's high ACE? and ACE for AC and E, for alignment, capabilities, and engagement. Now, I think one of the challenges here is we go to the doctor's office and we want to get a diagnosis of what the problem is. We don't want to be people who are home diagnosing ourselves. So the beginning is really having a good diagnostic of how well you do on alignment, capabilities, and engagement as an organization, and then begin to think about all the things that can be done to drive that. Uh, building a great employer brand, that differentiates the organization in the marketplace. Uh, helping to break down silos that kill uh, alignment in the organization. Big one is developing leaders who are capable of creating <clears throat> business units or teams that are high on alignment capabilities and engagement. That's one of the great roles I think that HR plays in helping to uh, an organization become a high ACE organization. And I think that those are the, some of the biggest elements that uh, we would like to see HR focus on more than they have in the past.